hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new today i will be showing you guys how i make my irish sea moss gel make sure you like comment and subscribe and stay tuned so the irish sea moss that i get is from akeem pierre and i will definitely leave his information down in the description section below so that way if you're interested you can just contact him and yeah get your sea moss so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have a lime or a lemon or you can use both i prefer to use both i have both so that's what i use so you're basically going to take as much as you want out of the package you don't even need to take a lot because honestly you can take a little bit and once you soak it in water it's going to expand it might look like a little bit now but once you you um soak your sea moss overnight it'll expand it'll fill up the whole bowl so you just need a little bit of product once you have your sea moss ready in your bowl you want to make sure you rinse it very well rinse it a few times you know get your fingers in there rinse it rinse it rinse it make sure you're rinsing that salt off or you know any residue that's coming from the ocean and yeah So now I am chopping up my lemons and my limes and I'm going to just squeeze the juices all into the sea moss and then I'm going to throw the whole lemon and lime just in the, in the bowl. Then I'm going to fill it up. I'm just going to put enough water where it's going to like cover the sea moss and yeah, I'm just going to cover it and let it sit overnight and then tomorrow it'll be ready to be blended. Okay, it is now the next morning. And I basically just switched out bowls because I needed to use a bowl for something else. But it's the same result. And right here, I have like an extra bottle just to use, just to put the sea moss water in. Because it's good to save the water. You can use it for different things. Like, I'm going to use it for my hair. So, yeah, it's a lot of benefits. You can also use the actual sea moss gel melt it down and put it in your conditioner your deep conditioner so that's another way to use it for your hair and then it's a way you can use your sea moss as a face mask i will show i will leave the ingredients at the end of this video so you guys can try it out but i tried it out and it worked my face was glowing and it was tight and it just felt fresh so i'll leave that at the end of the video So now it's time to blend the sea moss. So you're gonna place the sea moss in your blender and fill it up with water, just, to, just enough water to cover the sea moss. Don't put too much water. If you need to add more water, like later on during the blending process, then you do so. But you don't wanna put too much water where it's, just, it's gonna be like watery. That'll mess up the consistency and it won't be gel. So yeah, just follow these steps and you will have the perfect sea moss gel.
So after you pour your CMOS gel into your mason jars, you have to let it sit. For I let it sit for about an hour. So that way it can settle and it can get, you know, thicken and turn into that gel form. You have to let it sit. So basically that's what I did. And I'm gonna show you how it looks after it's settled. So this is how your CMOS gel should look once it's settled and done. You should be able to turn your mason jar upside down without it coming out, pouring out. That's how you know it's done. So here is the website I purchased my Irish sea moss from. And as you can see, they have a whole bunch of other products. I'm definitely going to look into the other products because I know for sure they are all beneficial. They are all healthy and all natural herbs and all of that good stuff. So yeah, I'm definitely going to buy more products from them. And you guys should too as well. You should check it out and see what's good for you so yeah guys make sure you like comment and subscribe let me know what other videos you guys would like to see and yeah that's it for this video